and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Heimer. We're going to be uh, trying out a Piltover and Zon deck that doesn't have Jace. Really, this one's going to be a Hextech Handler deck. What we wanted to do is be able to play Hextech Handlers and get more Hextech Handlers. So we're going to be going over to Ionia that has a Retreat Return. That seems like a really nice combination with Hextech Handler. And then also Iterative Improvement, being able to make more of them that way. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing here. We do have to play a 6 plus cost spell to unlock those Hextech Handlers. And in order to get the, the 6 plus cost spell, we're going to be using Flash of Brilliance and Pharaoh's Financier. Um, we also have Thermogenic Beam. But we're not really focused on that 6 plus cost spell. Um, so, you know, like that's going to be, uh, you know, kind of like a little give and take here. Because besides that, you know, like we're playing Victor and Heimer, and we're using our Hexcore upgrades uh, for, for Victor and uh, Ignitions with Ballistic Bot using those cheap spells to enable Eye of the Dragon. The other thing that we wanted with um, Ionia is Deny, because a lot of people are playing Jace decks right now, Jace and Lux and stuff like that, a lot of six plus slow spells everywhere, and so we really wanted uh, Deny to be able to counter those. That's a, a big part of what we're doing. We got Station Archivist in here, which is just absolutely amazing with Flash of Brilliance, with Iterative Improvement, with stuff like that. Um, you know, like those cards work great with Archivist, especially like Improvement Archivist. You can just kind of go go forever in the real late game and just get, continue to get a whole bunch of Archivists. So, you know, we're doing that kind of stuff. Um, and that's what our deck's all about. We have, I really wanted to put more Aloof Travelers in here since people have more top end these days. Uh, but it, I just couldn't find ways to put more aloof travelers. They'd have to like go in for like the handler. Like if we don't want to make it a handler deck, you can make this an aloof traveler deck. Because again, aloof travelers is great with iterative improvement and just pretty good these days. But no, we're making it a hex tech handler deck. So let's go ahead and uh, try try this out. All right, so we're gonna go play five games in rank with Victor Heimer. <laughs> hey, no problem, ghost. Just subbed over on YouTube. Thank you very much. All right, we have Diego Thresh. I like Thermo Beam quite a bit against both of those champions, so we're gonna keep that. And I think we're sending the Iterative Improvement back, and we're sending one Victor back. The second Victor, I guess we keep, but I could honestly see kind of sending that back also. But I, against Shadow Isles, it's gonna have hard removal. Okay, Deny is good against hard removal. We do kind of need something to play early on. I don't have the new board. I got all the other cosmetics, but I ran out right before the, the new board. I don't have the new board. Man, this is really not good for us. I wish I would have sent that Victor back. They can play Viego now, or Thrash, like either one. That'd be really scary, but uh, good chance they have you know, the seven mana card from Viego that they just reduced the cost of. It's kind of saving the Flash of Brilliance because that card's so good with Heimer. Just kind of holding on to that. They definitely use Syncopation, right? If I Mystic Shot that, then they Syncopation. I guess I do have Twin Disciplines. I guess we could probably block. We want to get things out of here before... Okay. I'll let that happen. We want to get things out of here before uh, Viego comes into play. And then sees more things die. Metal is perfection. No materials, no improvements. No, not impact. Worst keyword. Hello. 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 Another brilliant. 
I'm expecting uh, the Hydrovine. That's the name of the unit. I'm expecting Hydrovine this round. Don't you just hate Thermogenic Beam sometimes? You just can't have Thermogenic Beam plus Deny at all. That seems like bad deck building. Alright, so this will either eat Syncopation or Deny, one of the two. But I really just don't have any other option. Yeah, we're Spirit's Refuge. Sometimes you just gotta hate Thermo Beam. <laughs> After watching Arcane, I like Victor and Jay so much more. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Good. Get that Hydrovine out of here. That's what I wanted to do. That is the price they pay for defying their king. Genius. Let's get this bottom play for the augment. Yeah, that fearsome's not a good keyword. That's a good question. Like the question was, why are these bots not tech? And I don't really know. I don't. I don't know why the ballistic bots not attack. I don't know how I'm ever killing this Viego. This Viego is the problem. Wow. Yep. That's what I get, I guess, for tapping under deny. They should just block with the Faithful and just grow the Viego. I'm gonna have to kill these things anyway. Can you improve perfection? Into the forest. Also, what should we do in the Twin Disciplines here? The plus three, plus zero to try to kill Viego. But I want to kind of see what they have with those four cards. Hopefully stuff we can deny. Only two cards left. Wait, what? How is this thing a 7-9? What is going on? Didn't that just take 7 damage? Okay, it's a visual bug. Okay, y'all think it's a, it's actually a 7-2, it's just a visual bug? Okay. Because we have the... Alright, so we, we have like the ability to try to kill one of them with this Thermo Beam. But I'm not sure which one to target. I guess it's got to be the Viego, but then... 
that just gonna make that just makes the thresh level up and then can, they can put in a new Viego. Okay, yeah, okay. Thermo check I, then it goes down. Okay. I guess we can cast this thing either way first. Thresh is just leveled up now. Let's play this victor they know about. So we know our top card is MK2. We're so close to killing Thresh, but not quite. Alright, there we go. That's great. That's great. Not a new Thresh, at least not right now. This could turn into our being in our favor. Yeah, that's that's good. We'll take that one all day. card we don't know about. This is me taking five. Prime, I guess I could throw my victor like in front of one of these four twos just in case, but do you have double deny? You know, we have triple deny. I just gotta hope that last card's a spell we can deny. Give me something to deny. Not giving me anything to deny right now. Regen, regen's good. Oh no! All right, got to challenge Viego. Love it. Station Archivist, very good. Maybe I should just play the Archivist first for Blocker. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll just. I'll do this a few times, I suppose. Suppose we can do that a couple of times. I mean, it's not an infinite loop because it's just you know how much mana you have. But 
but it definitely makes it easier with having a leveled up Victor, that's for sure. I think he has something on that case. And I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the deny available. Oh, which means I shouldn't have played this other station archivist. Doesn't it? Eh, I guess we don't really need to keep deny available. We'll be fine. Alright. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be fine. Life steal. The dark beckons. Dawn and dusk. You're telling me I can get two more copies of Victor, and then these car start costing. Oh yeah, so that last card they they were chilling in hand was a deny. So then then all my creative cards are gonna cost three less, so then we can go infinite with Archivist. With triple victor, we can go infinite with Archivist. Uh, and iterative improvement. You can just I guess you can just lock them out, you know, you can just do that forever. And I suppose. Uh, it's probably just rude to do that, right? It's probably rude to do that. We'll just attack. So yeah, we could just have zero mana archivist, zero mana iterative improvements, and just do that forever. If we wanted to, but that's pretty rude. And then, you know, each time, each time grows Victor, right? So you can have Victor be like, you know, 50 power. <laughs> you know, so that would be the reason to keep doing it. It's just you could you could continually grow Victor. Lurkers! Lurkers getting pretty popular today. The thing that I really like about playing three denies against Lurkers is if they uh, get some... I don't really want to start with this, though. If they get to Pike, you know, Pike, get Pike spell, we could deny that. Death from below. We could have deny from above for death from below. There you go! Grand Inquisitor just got primed this month. For all that arcane loot. Well, I'm gl yeah, I'm glad you're using your Twitch Prime sub over here. Thank you so much for that support. Awesome. Scorpy, Scorpy says, I just built built Caitlyn Jace, and it's not doing so bad. Glad to hear. Old Hammer Snout. Good name, Hammer Snout. This is what, man, it would have been great if we could have Aloof Travelers. I love after they play Xerxai Caller to Aloof Traveler. I'll save Mystic Shots. So we could, you know. Keep ourselves from taking two by playing it. I have the dragon. We have that in this deck. That card's new. You know what we haven't seen yet at all? Heimerdinger. I'm sorry, Dark Fortress. Dark Fortress says again, tilted that nothing that you're building is winning at all. I guess the best thing to do whenever that's the case is to. Go back to cards that you really enjoy and that you're familiar with and that you've played a good amount. Um, you know, kind of back to basics. And see what you can do from there. It's a good draw. I was worried about them using uh, the Pike spell. Yes, of course. We each hold a world 
Thin. Add rate of improvement. Three out of seven. I wish we would have found a deny for um for Pike. We know this we know this card of course is that two mana thing that gets them the free attack. Alright, they're playing that. I'm blocked out with the draggling. We did hit Lurk. Victor does not have very good keywords for surviving. I'm gonna make another Eye of the Dragon. I think for another draggling. That top card was death from below. Mm. That I let them draw into the death from below. Wow, if I would have just not played the aloof travelers, then we would have had to deny. Stick around. That friend is wow. Cards in my hand, though. Shock blast. I like shock blast. The dragon binds us. I wonder if it's better to do this and let I the dragon die and get another aloof traveler. It probably is. Like we probably just need more cards, right? Oh, and then I should have blocked that thing for two. The under... I should have... Yeah, so this thing should have four damage on it. Alright, so just put... You in play. Play Heimer, I only have four other mana. Obviously, I'd want to play Heimer before Shock Blast, but probably just gotta play the Shock Blast. I'm just not scared of a 6 1. We know, you know, we know that they have just the two drop right there, so they only have one other card. Now, this allows me to Mystic Shot the Zerza Wrath. thing. Alright, we're not looking so bad. Whoa, what is that block all about? What? Well, I don't understand what that block is about. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't be scared of that top card. Alright, let's just let's just pass and not have them attack. Victor! Yes, Victor! Yes, Harvey. <laughs> Harvey came up and started scratching on my chair. I guess that could be a fight spell. Yes, of course. I guess. So this is going to be a challenger. It's a 1 2 challenger that we can play this. Make it a 2 3 challenger. So now we can challenge the hatchling. Right there. Then you have elusive. 
we don't really need y'all anymore. We're gonna make other units. We're gonna need space for units anyway. I I could plus three plus zero and trade, but it's kind of like what's the point, right? Because they just put the wreck side back in their deck anyway. All right, Marshall. Or sorry, uh, Nasher. Nasher, have a good one. Big T Hex. The old 1010 T Hex. Now they're about to start being 11 11s. I think that will block the. <laughs> this lurker just fine. They never played this other card. I wonder what that other card is. They just never played. Could be the third one of those. Third blood bait. I think that's the name of the card. Third blood bait. So if so, each one of those hex core found or hex, hex core upgrades. They would all give Victor a keyword, but then they would also make a 2-3 challenger. Zero mana 2-3 challenger. Oh, it's Caitlyn. Okay. So we got Caitlyn Teemo. That's the new Caitlyn skin. I don't really want to send Heimer back. Twin Disciplines is really good against the damage base deck at protecting Heimer. But I guess we'll send it back because, you know, we have to be able to play to the board. OG Teemo, I like it. Yeah, opponent's got good cosmetics over there. So I like that because we don't have anything else to play right now. So might as well cast this because this next round we're probably just going to be saving our three spell mana. Right? Like, we have nothing to play. Anyway, so if we're just going to save that three spell mana, might as well save the life. Keep the Nexus nice and healthy. Alright, these retreat returns not looking so good. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Alright, so every one of their cards costs four or less if mana. Break, burn. Logical. Let's go, Heimer. On the trail. Yes, yes, again. Assembly line's pretty good. Mm. Hextech transmogulator, not as good. So we could retreat return. So we could level up Heimer right here with a retreat return, couldn't we? That's probably not worth doing. That is an option. Retreat return, pick this up. The retreat return makes three power worth of turrets. This thing is also three power worth of turret. So six total, so the timer would level up. Probably not worth doing though, like I was saying. And so we won't. The area. We can just wait till this round and not let their Caitlyn strike. Your mushroom, right? 
Yeah, so I think they're playing Noxus for probably some more burn, right? Like I think they were going to be playing like Decimate, Fervor, that kind of stuff. be attacking with Heimer also. Yeah, I really should. 3-5 body. We'll just take two flash bombs. Not that big a deal. The last Teemo. Alright, so now Victor will be leveled up also, thanks to all these different turrets. That's right. That is the kind of card that I'd like to deny. Some mana. Maybe not. One step ahead. Okay, ready. A four puff caps. Wow, really? Four puff caps? My only hope is doing this, then hitting a deny. We hit a deny. Ooh, we hit a deny and no puff caps. That was my only hope. Oh, so close. So close. How did we hit four puff caps on that one card? That was a disappointing one to lose, but that's that's what their deck was about, right? Like double decimate, double get excited at the end. So good hand for them. Yep, so close. So close. All right, we got Jay Swain coming up. I had the dragon. You would have been nice to have. Financier, you would have been nice to have. Handler, you would have been nice to have. You know, we didn't have any units to play before aloof against the aggro deck and still almost pulled it out. I'm going to send you back. And I'll keep the others. Well, they didn't... Well, Mad Wheels, they didn't block with Caitlyn. Once they played the Get Excited and we denied it, you know, like, they, they already moved past their blocks. They couldn't afterwards go back and re-block with Caitlyn. We each hold a world within. Okay, interesting. I could see this being a, a you know decent ritual renewal matchup, but we do have draggalings that could theoretically help us out there. Uh, we could just get a big 5-5. Five five. 
which one would be bad or true shot looking to kill a bunch of stuff but like swain leviathan is probably what i'm the most scared of anyway i think i'll still just take true shot because we do have you know we have double thermogenic beam for larger things like that I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Deny is always good. Speaking of true shot. All right, and then we're going to use our Mystic Shock, because then that's going to be my second spell with the Eye of the Dragon. And so we can open attack. We're going to healthy amount here. And so that takes away a, a 6 plus cost spell for Jace. So now they don't have that anymore. Um, they are passing... Let's just get Ballistic Bond play. So that round start bot can create the ignition. Good thing we went with the bot, so we had thermo for that. That worked out. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. So playing uh, Flash of Brilliance first. So that's our second spell for Eye of the Dragon. Getting a Dragling again. So I do have aloof travelers to kind of help against. Against Leviathan. You dropped something. I dropped everything. See? Helped against Leviathan. Haven't played any creative cards yet. Kinda want to just pass. Nice, good. Let's make everything a creative card. So that's really good with like retreat return. All right, so now everything's gonna be attack. Because now retreat return costs you know one mana. Oh no, come on, let me do it! That was a good card to pick up also, so we could make a new spell. So we're going to pick that up, and then for zero mana, we could return and then put the um, the new the new tech card. I always forget, I can't remember its name. The Handler. So we're going to be able to put the Handler into play, which would grant our allies plus one, plus one everywhere. Oh, that was going to be good. And back to Lurkers. We've done well against Lurkers so far today, but we haven't had, like, crazy hands from our Lurker opponents either. And we're going to send the Victor back along with these. You know, we'll keep Deny for Pike, but then we're looking for our early units. Yeah, these don't really exactly count as our early units. We can always iterative improvement my opponent's stuff, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. That's the card we want. The Financier. I mean, Glorious Evolution has the highest upside. The The good part about Hextech Transmogulator is, you know, not only is it cheaper for these handlers, but we could turn, like, some overwhelm unit of theirs into a non-overwhelm unit. So it's between those two, I think. I don't know, actually, Singular World doesn't sound that bad either, I guess. We can put, like, these handlers and stuff back in our hand. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. All right, we're taking Glorious Evolution. It's an awesome day for progress. For progress. She kicks, huh? Okay, so we know they got a Rek'Sai on top. Shut up when I 
Hey, I have the dragon. We each hold a world within. So that gives me exactly three spell mana for next round. Really hope they didn't get just exactly Pike right there, right? Because they they've lurched twice. We know the first one was Rexai, so really hope that was that wasn't exactly Pike, and then they go after um, Pike because I don't have mana for Deny right now. So they just let me, you know, just don't hit Pike exactly right there. It was it was exactly Pike right then. Can you believe it? All right, so the Pike's gonna and it's gonna do six damage, so I can't save with Twin Disciplines. That is crazy. Wow, that's crazy. It's exactly Pike right there. Okay, so you know that card right there is Pike, they just drew. And I think the card before it is Rek'Sai. All right, so we have four unknowns, then Rek'Sai, then Pike. Yep, that was the card before. That was the Rek'Sai. Do we Thermo Beam Rek'Sai? Probably not. I guess they have Ruthless Predator. That could be their plan: is like Ruthless Predator, make it eight, attack. You know, make it ten, and then like we lose. That'd be really bad. Use a deny. So they can't lurk again. That was their one time to lurk this round. This, yeah. Can't lurk again. Never turn your back on the sea. And it's just always too much. It's just, again, just the perfect amount of it. If I twin disciplines, it's exactly seven. Hope I don't need Hmm Is this worth it? Maybe not. Let's just attack. Lethal? Lethal, there we go. All right, got him. That's probably just the thing to do. We had our other twin disciplines plus deny for protection. All right, so there we go. That was a 4-1 with Victor Heimer. I have to say it looked really good. I think this one, it felt a little bit better than the uh, Jace Lux deck we just played. To be honest, I, I really liked how this deck felt. Um, again, this financier is just awesome. But what I really liked about this deck was having, you know, we have these strong Piltover and Zong cards, but then backed up by Deny. Deny was just incredible for us, like in every game that we had it. It was so good. 
Um, we did lose the one game to the burn deck. You know, that can always happen. And against that burn deck, we had no Ballistic Bot, Eye of the Dragon, Pharos Financier, Hextech Handler, or Station Archivist, right? So not a single unit to play the first three rounds. That's always going to hurt against the burn deck. And we still almost won, but they had to have, you know, they had double decimate, double get excited at the very end. And they needed every bit of that. Um, so, you know, like we still almost got there. Uh, with the help of like you know because we we started to catch up because we had we did have Heimer and double flash of brilliance to catch up after our super slow start um but so that was pretty sweet that was pretty sweet i liked it quite a bit now i'm sure it could be approved upon um over time you know playing more games and stuff but i do have to say that just deny looked great and obviously pharos financier is just incredible too all right, so that's going to be it uh, for this deck. Station Archivist was insane. Also, Station Archivist plus Iterative Improvement is just silly. Um, that's always a good combo. Cyclone with a resub for three months. Thank you so much, Cyclone. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for Victor Heimer. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, if you give the deck a try yourself, let me know how it goes. Let me know how you like Deny in this meta, because Deny just does seem incredible. Or, uh, you know, anything else. If you got... Um, you know, any improvements to the deck or anything like that. You got other ideas for Hextech Handler? Let us know, because that's what we wanted to do here was play a Hextech Handler deck. Um, yeah, got other ideas for this card? Let us know. But that's going to be it for Victor Heimer. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.